here. Why don't you just leave them alone? They didn't do anything. <laughs> Charles Dietz particularly, but you could have killed hey, him. Hey, I'm just doing my job. It's like I thought we had a deal. Hey, it's okay. You know why? I don't want to do business with you deadbeats anyway. Thank you. The only one I think I can deal with is that Growlin Poe's daughter. That's me. You leave her alone, you... <laughs> <laughs> Millennium. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling a little uh ooh, anxious, if you know what I mean. It's been about six hundred years after all. I wonder where a guy in everyday Joe like myself can find a little action. Hi. Yeah. Split out of here, afterlife kids. I'm the ghost with the most, babe. You know, you look like somebody I. Maybe you could, maybe you could help me get out of here. You know, because I gotta tell you, this uh, this death thing is. It's just too creepy. See, here's my problem. I got these friends on the outside that I said I'd meet, you know, and that's the kind of thing I have to be there in person, you know. So I was just wondering, could you help me get out of here? Why? Hey, you probably got your reasons, uh, but the thing is, I can't do anything from over here. If you could get me out over there, then maybe we could talk or something. But, you know, in order to do that, you got to say my name three times. Now, why? Because if I tell you... You tell your friends, your friends are calling me on the horn all the time. I got to show up at shopping centers for openings and sign autographs and shit like that. And that makes my life a hell, okay? A living hell. But maybe if you have a pen, maybe we can... Oh, I know. You can play charades. Yeah. Ah, good, good. Ah, here we go then. Ready? Right. Ah. Uh...